I'm on the case. What's up summoners, this is Eggs back with another banger video and in this one we are talking all about the Sheriff of Piltover, Caitlyn. We'll be covering our identity, abilities, tips and tricks, combos, runes, builds, everything you need to perfect your craft on this champion. If you do find this video useful, make sure to hit that like button and so you don't miss our daily season 13 uploads, hit that subscribe button as well. Now let's start by talking about Caitlyn's identity. He's a high range AD carry and has the highest base auto attack range out of any champion in the game. And this dictates how you should play her as a pokey lane bully. You should be looking to pressure the enemy AD carry for every last hit they go for. And one thing you should definitely do is just get used to this range in a practice tool. So by going into your settings, then interface and checking show attack range, you can familiarize yourself with this distance. Now let's get into Caitlyn's passive and abilities. Your passive is called Headshot, so when you auto attack a target on Caitlyn, you generate a stack of count. You can see this above my HUD. And when you get to 6 stacks, your next attack is going to transform into that Headshot, which will deal extra damage to that target, which scales with your level and critical strike chance. Now this stacking is doubled when you attack from a brush, so each auto attack here is giving me 2 stacks. Also you only need to get to 5 stacks of count to trigger your Headshot, not 6. This is obviously a great thing you can use during the laning phase, using the bottom brushes to get to your passive quicker. Now there are two other ways to know when you have your headshot loaded. First, Caitlyn's rifle will be sparkling, and second, you will hear this sound. Now there are two ways you can actually instantly trigger your headshot, when an enemy champion steps on your Yordle snap trap, or when you hit an enemy with your 90 caliber net. In both cases, you will see a bunch of arrows pointed towards that target and this range indicator behind them. Notice in both cases how your attack range is doubled. Now when you auto attack blast cones or scry orbs when your headshot is active, your headshot does not actually get used. It only procs on targets with HP, so towers, inhibs, minions, jungle monsters, but it does deal reduced damage to anything that isn't a champion. But you can know all this information, the most important headshot tip is to use it to pressure your lane opponents. This is when you are at your strongest, so don't be scared. Now your Q is called Piltover Peacemaker, and this ability you are maxing first. So when you press Q, you fire a shot towards your cursor, and this deals physical damage to targets it passes through, but less damage to those hit after the first. So it's a good idea to use your Q when there is nothing between you and an enemy champion. So if your support lands a form of hard CC, try to step away from the minions to maximize your Q's damage. But fun fact, if a champion steps on a trap and you Q them, even if there is an enemy, so a minion champion in front of that champion, your Q will still deal maximum damage. Now your Q has the same range as your headshot attacks, so it's a great ability to get the push in the laning phase because you can Q all the minions in a wave when it's coming into the bot lane. Now your Q is pretty telegraphed, there is a cast time, and if the enemy champions have eyes, they can dodge it pretty easily. So try to use it when they are going for a last hit, or when your support lands a bit of CC, or when you can E them first to slow them, or when you last hit a minion, it's almost like you disguise it while trying to hit the enemy champions at the same time. And as far as Q flashing goes, this does not work, so this dummy that's out of range of my Q is still out of range when I Q flash. Now your W, your little snap trap, you are maxing this second, and when you press W, you place a trap where your cursor is and after one second, this trap is armed. So when an enemy champion walks over it, they are rooted for one and a half seconds, revealed, and they also trigger your headshot active, they'll actually deal even more damage. Now these traps last 30 to 50 seconds, and you can place three to five of these depending on the points in your W. You also have a recharge time that decreases the more points you have in your YST. So in the early game, it's really important not to just spam your traps. Now when you place more traps down than you're actually allowed to on the rift, the first trap you put down will just get removed and replaced by the recent one. Now the range of your W is actually bigger than your auto attack range, so even if a target is outside of your attack range, you can pressure them with your W. Also, your traps grant sight of a small area for a second, so if you think the enemy support or jungler is ambushing you, place a trap in that brush to keep yourself safe. But it's just a small area they reveal, they won't actually reveal the whole brush, so do be careful. Now using your traps to influence enemy champions movement is something the best Caitlyns do. So two common examples here. Place your trap below the enemy to push them up into a queue. Example number two, place your trap or traps above the enemy to push them down towards, well, one of your queues, but also maybe your support sitting in a brush. It's also crucial to place your traps while you are in your other animations. So weave your traps in between your auto attacks and your other abilities, which we will get into very soon. Now your traps are a great counter to any sort of telegraphed interaction like teleport. Just remember when someone TPs, they will always appear towards their nexus, so behind that target pretty much. Your traps also counters on your Hourglass, Guardian's Angel, a Yone AE, it's just generally a big cuck. Now one more tip, when you are pressuring the enemy bot lane under their tower, you can hide your traps 
under that tower. This will catch out many players because they're so difficult to see. Now your E, your 90 caliber net, you are maxing this last. When you press E, you fire a net in the target direction and this propels you in the opposite direction. Now this deals magic damage and slows the target, proccing your headshot. Now the range is exactly the same as your trap range. So you can trap an E at the same time and distance to get off two headshots. Now the key to using your E is not actually using it, which sounds like I've just hit some good kush, but it's your only escape. So in lane, you are only using it to one shot an enemy champion with your headshots or to escape and engage your gank. Now you can use it to get back to lane faster at a base, but only use it once. Otherwise you will be oom. Now each time you use your E, you want to be doing some sort of combo because you can cast any of your abilities during your dash, even your ultimate, and we'll get into these combos very soon. Now your last ability, your ultimate, ace in the hole. So Caitlyn channels for one second and fires a fat bullet at the targeted enemy champion. While doing so, that enemy is revealed, so you might even want to use this before an enemy champion runs into a brush so your teammates can keep damaging them. But Caitlyn is also revealed. So against assassins or champions with quick engage and gap closing like Shaco, Karzix, Malphite, be aware before just pressing R. Now your ace in the hole deals a ton of physical damage but other enemy champions can actually intercept it. So if a low HP enemy has a teammate nearby, you might just be wasting your ultimate, unless all of the enemy champions are really low. Now the range is huge on this thing and stays the same at each rank and also reveals the area it travels over similar to an Ash Hawk shot. Now one cool trick, you don't actually have to click on that champion on your screen to ult them. So what you can do is click on that champ's icon on the minimap and the ace will be sent. Your ultimate will also go on a 5 second cooldown if the channel for it is interrupted or if the target becomes untargetable, like Fizz using his playful trickster or when Caitlyn flashes or dies. And if the enemy champion does actually die while your ultimate is traveling, it will still hit the champion corpse and it can still be interrupted by enemy champions as usual. Now before we get into the must know combos for Kaylin, if you do guys want to master the role of AD carry and know exactly what the best AD carries in the world do that you don't, check out GameLeap.com, our website in the description and comment section. If you don't climb a division from watching one of my high level on analyses, I'll be amazed. Now for your combos, first up we have the very standard EQ combo. So you are pressing E and then Q immediately after into a headshot auto attack. Next up, we have the angled EQ. So you're using your E and then queuing at a different target. So if the enemy support is close to you and you want to damage the enemy AD carry, E towards the support and flick your mouse towards the AD carry. Now we have the attacking EW combo. So the same as the EQ combo, but you're just pressing W instead of Q. The slow from your E gives you a good chance to land your trap, but remember, try to place your trap to push the enemy champion towards your Q and or support. A good tip is actually just to wait a tiny bit before pressing your W after Eing. For whatever reason, this just feels cleaner. And of course, you can add your Q and or ultimate to this combo. Now next up, the defensive EW combo. So instead of trapping the target you hit with your net, you're actually trapping behind yourself to discourage enemy champions from chasing you. Now one underrated combo is the E flash combo. So you're basically canceling your net's animation with your flash. You can use this to escape ganks, enemy CC, or to get off your headshot quicker because you're not waiting for Caitlyn to finish her net's animation. You can also think of doing this over minions when you think you can quickly kill your opponent. Now last up, the Gale Force E combo. This simply shortens your net animation so you can auto attack immediately. So press E, wait just a little bit, Gale Force active and auto attack. Just keep in mind that the longer the game progresses, Caitlyn's auto attacks become more deadly and from coaching lower elo Caitlyn players, they use their abilities way too much when they can just auto attack champions to death. Now for your runes, you have two options for Season 13. If you are against two ranged champions who rely on poke, take this fleet footwork page. The sustain from fleet is far more valuable than the attack speed from lethal tempo, because rarely will you be maxing out the stacks on tempo against two ranged champions. But if the enemy bot lane is not boasting any sort of range or poke, take this lethal tempo page, simple as that. One other tweak you have to be aware of, if you are starting Doran's Blade, take Coup de Gras, and if you are starting Longsword, a cut down. Now your items haven't really changed at all from last season. Gale Force is definitely your best mythic. Then you can either go Rapid Fire Cannon for the range and attack speed, or the Collector if you are super snowballing and the enemy team is very squishy. Then you always want to be getting Infinity Edge as your third major item to proc that 60% crit passive. After your first three items, you have plenty of options. Lord Dominic's Regards, Bloodthirster, Guardian's Angel, Phantom Dancer, QSS into Mercurial Scimitar, Mortal Reminder, Mora Malmordia, Stormraiser. Try to build items that counter the enemy team. All of them deal damage, but you might need some healing reduction or a bit of survivability yourself. 
And finally, Summoner Spells. Guys, you have three options to take with your Flash, and then two questionable options. The three good ones are Heal, Cleanse, and Exhaust. You are taking Cleanse or Exhaust to counter a specific enemy champion or ability, or even team composition. So you can take Cleanse into champions like Ash, Lissandra, Sejuani, Amumu, and you can take Exhaust into champions like Samira, Lucian, Zed, Evelyn, otherwise take Heal. The other two options are Ghost and Barrier. You can experiment with both of these, but on Kaylin, the other three options I just mentioned are more viable. Thanks so much for watching up until this point guys i hope you enjoyed and learned something from this guide and until tomorrow's season 13 upload this is phoenix peace